Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about uh, thermodynamics. Difference between two types of thermodynamics. We have generally two types of thermodynamics. One is one is microscopic microscopic approach towards thermodynamics. Another one is macroscopic approach. Another one is macroscopic approach towards thermodynamics. So this microscopic approach and macroscopic approach has uh, significance. Both of them has separate separate significance. Uh, let us let us discuss about both of them in one by one. So initially, let me consider a container which is having some gas. So which is distributed like this. The molecules of the gas are distributed like this. Example. I'm just taking an example such that the molecules are distributed like this. And now. In microscopic approach, what we will do, we will concentrate on each and every molecule. We will take one molecule and we will fix that molecule. Okay. We will fix that molecule and we will study about uh, study about the behavior of that molecule. That is, we will be determining the behavior, we will be determining the properties, what about the heat transfer, work transfer, everything. Our concentration is going to be on this one particular molecule. Same thing, once, once the analysis of the one particular molecule is over, we will go for the next molecule. We will fix another molecule and then we will do analysis on this molecule. That is, we will be finding properties, behaviors and what are all the uh, work transfer, heat transfer, everything. Every, every analysis we will be doing with respect to each and every molecule. We will be finishing off each and every molecule and we will be moving towards other molecule. So, in this way, a complete, a complete gas or a complete fluid analysis is done by choosing each and every molecule, right. In the case of macroscopic approach, we will take an example and like the same thing, there is a container which has, which has some gas like this, right. So in, micros in macroscopic approach, in macroscopic approach, we will, we will not concentrate on each and every molecule. We will choose some particular section, some particular section of, I am just choosing some example section, first section, second section, second, third section, we will choose some particular section, in that section there will be number of molecules, 4, 5, 10, 15, there will be some particular section and in that section there will be number of molecules and now we will study the average behavior of all the molecules, we are not going to concentrate on each and every molecule, we will be finding we will be finding temperature, pressure, volume, whatever it is, all the properties for the complete section, for the complete space which I choose. Okay. But in the case of microscopic, I will be choosing a single single molecule and I will be finding the properties and I will be doing the analysis. So it is the difference between microscopic approach and macroscopic approach. And if you see, microscopic approach are more significant. When it is more significant, you can easily say. When the molecules are less, right? If the molecules are more, if the molecules are arranged like this, very closely, the molecules are arranged very closely, then, then surely it is not easy, then surely it is not easy to do microscopic approach, right? I cannot choose each and every molecule and I cannot do analysis. It is more tedious process and it is very tough process if molecules are more. So I need to choose each and every molecule and I need to do the analysis. So it is not easy. So this microscopic approach is followed when there are less number of molecules in a, uh, in a container or in a, in a particular gas or in a particular system. So where will be less number of molecules, where, where we can see the less number of molecules, it is very easy. When density is less, this number of molecules are related to density. So number of molecules will be less number of molecules will be less if density is low. If density of any fluid, if density of any gas is low, less, then we will prefer going for microscopic approach. This microscopic approach has another name. It is also called as statistical, statistical thermodynamics. It is also known as statistical 
thermodynamics. This macroscopic approach, you could see, when this macroscopic approach is significant, that you can easily, easily judge. If suppose there are less number of molecules in a container, in a system, if I take a section like this, if I take a section like this, you can easily identify here. I am taking a section like this, but here there are more void spaces, there are more spaces, there are more void spaces rather than molecule. In macroscopic approach, we will prefer choosing average behavior of the molecule, but here there are more void spaces only, there are there is no uh, num more number of molecules in a particular section, right? So, now you could have easily differentiated this. If density is low, molecules will be low, then we will prefer microscopic approach. The here, the molecule should be high. For example, this case, if the molecule is high and if I choose, if I choose a particular section, then it will be very easy for me to, then it is very easy for me to do the analysis, right? There will be large number of molecules, then the average behavior of the molecules can be easily identified. So, this is the difference. So, if microscopic approach, the density has to be low, that is the molecule has to be less. In macroscopic approach, the density has to be more, that is uh, the molecule has to be, the molecule number of molecules in a system has to be more. And this macroscopic approach is also called as classical thermodynamics. It is also called as classical thermodynamics, microscopic approach is statistical thermodynamics. Okay. So, now the thermodynamics course which we are going to study in GATE or something which is completely related to GATE is only for, is only uh, classical thermodynamics which is nothing but macroscopic approach. Whatever we are going to see it is completely macroscopic, it is not going to be microscopic. We will be using microscopic, we will be using microscopic approach for one or two properties, one or two things to define one or two things. But we are not going to study microscopically, we are going to choose a system such that it constitutes large number of molecules and the pressure, temperature, volume, whatever we are doing is going to be for average behavior of the molecule. It is not going to be for individual molecules.